Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Videos, and I just made a video today on how to make a shortcut key. And somebody emailed me and asked me where they could find or how they could find all the shortcut keys. You know, if you go to any flyout, it's going to have your shortcut keys. And they're like this one is grayed out because there's nothing to on the screen and we don't have anything selected. So let's select that and go to object and now. Uh, well, let's draw two objects, and let's use combine, and then select both these, and go up to object, and now you can see so, uh, combine is highlighted, and it's control L would combine those two, so let's go control L, and now these two objects are one object. Well, I didn't actually do it. Control L. Now these objects are one object. But to find the list, and that's what the video is for, go up to Tools, Customization, Commands, and right here are shortcut keys. Just click on that and right here, View All. It's going to come up with a little screen, but you can make the screen bigger by grabbing the arrow just like any window screen. And it's going to give you all the shortcut keys and what they do in their description, Align Object. And, and a lot of these are going to be double because it's some of them are in the main menu, some of them like right here, Control B, it's in the table text editing and it's in the text editing mode. And we'll just go down here and I made one earlier to, or I showed a video on how to make the clone. That's mine right there, a, a backward or a forward slash. Uh, the other one I made was a power clip. Let's just go down to power clip and I made it F so Corel let me shows you all the shortcut keys that you made or the ones that are default so just go to let's do it one more time go to tools customization commands and right here is the tab for shortcut and right here is view all it's going to come up with a little screen but as I said before, you can make it big. You can print these out and, and study them on an airplane or when you're just playing. And then you can go back to Corel and, and try them out. You know, this is the one I use the most, which is center of the page, which is just P, aligns the center. And I wish it would, you know, fill out the whole description. I don't know if there's a way. There we go. Make the window bigger. And P aligns to the center of the selected object to the page. So let's just try that. Let's I'll tell you what, we'll, that shape will not align very good. Let's just draw a circle and hit the letter. Let's make it, let's hold down our control button and make it a perfect circle. And then hit P on the keyboard. It puts it in the center of the page. That's very, very useful. Let's hold down the control button and make a square and hit P. Now that square is in the center of the page, which is in the center of the circle. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.